to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. There are people who don't know how to trust God. There's this song in my heart. My trust is in you. You know the song? Sam. Help me. Just that one song. One minute. I want you to sing that song because I believe God is speaking to somebody. You know the song I'm talking about? Lion of Judah My trust is in you Ancient of days My trust is in you specifically to the brothers sisters you are, you are coming but let me speak to the brothers if you are jobless here jobless does not mean civil service jobless means stream of income you are not doing anything and you are not serious i want you to know that god is talking to you tonight take action brothers shout i take action say it again someone has got to push you and some of our parents love us too much to push us. Oh, I'm a graduate. Go and open a barbing saloon. The money you have can buy three clippers. I open it in the name of Jesus. Package a little seed and come and drop it in corn. Not for me, it's a principle, you know it. Go and open the barbing saloon. Are we together? Yes. There are many lazy people moving around. You may not be a millionaire, but from that little God will honor you. Tell yourself I cannot wait until the day somebody tips me. Everybody that passes you, you are waiting and hoping they drop something. When will you start blessing others? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. Challenge yourself. Challenge yourself. Can three people come and take action and say there is no ice cream making machine in Zaria? Three of us, let's come together. How much do you have? 500,000. How much do you have? 200,000. How much do you have? 100,000. Let's have an agreement. Let's get one of these shops and make one of the top ice cream machine machines around. You make it the first 20 people free. You launch it. Come and collect a bottle of oil here. I will pray on it with all my heart. You drop it on that shop, it will be like jam. Hold on. Don't shout. You have never done it. How many times have I spoken about it here? Listen, listen. Action takers are the ones who move forward. You graduated 10 years ago. You submitted your CV twice. And it's because they told you. Who do you want to spoon feed you with a job? Stand up and take action. 
fail honorably and come, I will help you, I will pray for you, and you will go back. You are learning how to walk. You are learning how to walk. Everybody say, I will rise again. I'm speaking to people who tried rising. And then you went down. And Christians are usually the ones who say, take it easy, yo. take it easy. Yeah. This, this decoration, how many people get married in Zaria? You just went to go and spend 200,000 to go and buy all this. Look at the, how many ribbons. You know, you even say you want to do canopy. You better don't destroy yourself. And all of a sudden, you see somebody will come. And just when he's opening the canopy, that's when God is bringing explosion to another church. And they'll say you are the one who is supplying us. Look at those who supply canopies. Imagine if those who supply these canopies now are here in Koinonia every week. Even if you don't do any other business again, yet you are sitting down buying fake things, fake whatever to prove levels that you have not gotten to. Challenge yourself. The law of faith. You must take action. I have taken bold steps in my life. Bold steps in my life. The word trust in the Lord. Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5 is from the word bata. It means throw yourself like you pick one of these are little ones. You see how these my children come to greet me after service. Some of them just run and just fly and expect that I hold them. If I don't hold them, it's still me that will pay for it. Correct? A child runs to the father. You gave birth to me, I didn't ask you. I fly. Pick me. That's what you do to God. When you take action, you put pressure on God's integrity. Lord, you said this. You said it is, it is, it is, um, what about any man that cannot cater for his family is worse than an infidel. I'm a married man with three children. Lord, I am tired of allowing, waiting for my wife to come back with 20,000. And that's what we're all feeding from. These children cannot go to school. Lord, I receive grace to take action. I will go and seek advice. I will go and receive prayer. I will receive an impartation, but I will take action. The anointing can come upon you, but you must take action for it to work. When did you ever lay hands on somebody to be healed? Oh, let me run to prayer department, Benga, or let me run to promise, or oh, anybody, let me run to any of the people. Oh, let me run to this. I think I'm hungry. Let me run to the welfare mama. Please, ma, you too, you know the way Nigeria is that if you, if you don't challenge yourself, you will never rise. You need to take action. Take action. Take action. Tell yourself, no, I'm going to be responsible. Lord, I trust you. Lord, I believe you. There are many of us who have never sown a seed. Do you know why? Because of fear. Never sown it. God cannot even tell you to empty your account. Yeah, 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 yeah. You will bind, bind and cast and curse and say, let this voice never speak to me again. That's why you can never rise. I'll never forget a time the Lord gave me an instruction to sow everything. Over 80% of all my clothes. Aside from what I did in Port Harcourt. And I just carried those things. When I sowed them, it was as if I would die. Now, I live, if God tells me to empty my account and empty my life and everything, I will do it gladly because I know him. I know him. Not because I like it. Not because it's convenient. When you know God, then you'll be able to take certain steps. Are we together? Yes. Listen. The workers in this ministry start dressing, arranging chairs and canopies way before people come. Did anybody sign an agreement that by evening all the overflows will be full? It takes faith. We believe what God has said. We believe that we are adding value. And so in the morning, people start preparing. Imagine that you wait until people come. Then you now say, oh, there are plenty of people today. Oh yeah, let's go. Do you know that every space you give God is what he feels? You have not taken action. That's why. Your shop is still small and you are there. God has been prompting your spirit. Move to a bigger one and say, Ah, God, don't mock me. So you will never see the miracle. The law of faith. Hebrews chapter 6 verse 15. God is speaking to someone tonight. Hebrews chapter 6 verse 15. Ah, this thing I've shared it has fired my spirit. And so, everybody read. Talking about Abraham. Read on. And so, after he had patiently endured, did what? 
Lion of Judah, my trust is in you. Over my destiny, my trust is in you. Help me sound. Lion of Judah, my trust is in you. Sing that song with understanding. Put them on you. Sing. My trust is in you. Ancient of days, my trust is in you. Trust is in you. Oh, I put them on you. My trust is in you. I say, I put them on you. My trust, my trust is in you. It takes faith to begin to prepare for five children when you are not yet in a relationship. I'm preparing. Oh, I don't want to waste my time. Who will come and marry me? Let the guy come first. When he comes and I'm sure the day he ever says, I will go and see your parents, I will read like never before. You will never marry that way. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. Oh, five children are going to come out from this womb. You take a step of faith. You have not entered any relationship. Who knows me? Look at that foolish question. What do you mean who knows me? God? The God you serve? You lay your hands, shape, bracket. You are bringing five children from this womb and they will all be a blessing. No giving birth to armed robbers. No giving birth to terrorists. I will not give birth to a son who will kill me because of trouble. You are preparing. You go and buy a book in advance. The power of a praying wife. You go and buy a book. God tells you you marry a man of God. You don't wait until a preacher comes. He may marry you as a civil servant and after five years God calls him into ministry. God didn't lie but you didn't prepare. God told you you are going to be a millionaire and you are waiting and say, God, when you said I'm going to be a millionaire, my palm sanders, everything I have home and abroad is 10,000. I can sell all my clothes for 20,000. That's foolish thinking. You go and buy a book. Lord, you have called me into kingdom financing. You told me I'm going to mentor and raise a generation and bless people. You do it. You put pictures around. Put a picture on your laptop that represents your future. And every time you see it, you prophesy. I may be small now, but in the name of the Lord Jesus, I have no father, I have no support, but I'm coming. I'm coming. I trust the name of the Lord. I may be weak. I may not be able to explain to people I'm doing something. They may even say you are lazy. What are you always doing in a room? Why are you always sitting down when you say, I'm building my mind? They say, what is mine? Are we going to eat mine? Just continue. The day God honors you. Then you will stand and sing this song that we are singing tonight. I believe that there is an anointing on this song this night. That people have to trust God. Take action. Trust God. It takes faith to be great. It takes faith to have a healing ministry. Nobody gives you a guarantee that anybody will be healed. It takes faith to be a man of God. It takes faith to be a businessman. It takes faith to be a wife and a mother. You are not allowed to have a child ordinarily before marriage. So how do you know you are fruitful? It takes faith. Lion of Judah, my trust is in you. The ancient of days, my trust is in you. Oh, I am that I am. My trust is in you. There are people who will never build a house in their lives. Many of our fathers, their salaries were 150. Now they are retired. There is no house. You know why? Because of fear. I will build it one day. I don't have enough money. Then God granted you grace. They created one scheme in your job and gave everybody land. Four plots of land is more than enough to build a family house. Mostly, their wives will tell them, honey, build, build time is going this how much is the money there's one money i'm expecting it will come tomorrow god said you have hundred thousand it can bring one tip of sand go and bring it and pour it on the side that's faith you are saying lord i'm starting this out the hand of zerubbabel that started when you start god begins to move people i remember the first day we bought equipment i remember one by one one by one 
I remember when I started buying, you know, not even just for ministry, for myself. To think and say one day I'll get a laptop is a joke. A laptop? Who gives you the money? See, hear me. This God is a good God. Worship team told us already. This God is a faithful God. But while you are waiting for him, I don't know who I'm speaking to this night. God is saying, I'm tired of waiting for you. Take a step. 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 Who told you the business will fail? Take a step. Are we together? Take a step. Ah, I have one million naira now. I'm thinking of starting small poultry. I'm thinking of getting a little golf. But I hear that this cars used to spoil a bee and that your profit doesn't come out. So you will remain there until the day somebody comes. Usually, those kind of people will sit down and then something will happen. You will carry 100,000 from it. Something will happen. They will invite you for one event that doesn't have head and tail. And they will massage your ego. And you will know when you carry 300,000. On behalf of me and my wife, I donate this money. And the money has finished. And you will never be successful. Success systems. The law of faith. Every great man walks on water. Every great man walks on water. It is your faith that turns that water to concrete. We are going to sing this song one more time. And then I will go to the next law. But I want you to sing it with understanding. I have trusted men. They have failed me. I have trusted systems. I trusted my certificate. It failed me. Lord, I lift my eyes and I trust in you. You are the one who can wipe my tears. My uncle promised me and disappointed me. Many have concluded that because I finished with the past, there is no greatness. That's what the devil wants to do all the time to make you not trust God. But I'm challenging men of faith. Lion of Judah. My trust is in you. Hey. The ancient of days. Hey. My trust is in you. Lord, you me. I am that I am. My trust is in you. I say, yeah. in my family, Lord. My trust is in you. Say, I put them on you. Say, my trust is in you. The law of favor. Please listen carefully to what I'm about to teach. The law of favor. I want to show you right now in this law the mystery that brings favor, perpetual favor upon the life of people. Favor. Psalm 89 verse 17. The law of favor. Lord, I pray that somebody will get this. In the name of Jesus, I pray that somebody will get this. Psalms 89 verse 17. For thou art the glory of their strength, and in thy favor shall our horn be exalted. Favor is the number one reason people succeed. Favor is the number one reason the number one reason why you will succeed is favor you need favor to achieve your goals and dreams you need favor to achieve your goals and dreams it is impossible to get to the place of destiny without favor no sir 
You've heard people say that one day of favor is worth a lifetime of labor. It is hardly an exaggeration. One day of favor is worth a lifetime of labor. Many people do not have favor in their lives. Why? Because they are not taught what favor is and how to release favor in their lives. Those who are even taught favor are only taught one side of favor. And it's like whenever you say favor, we leave it unto God. God just favor us now. No. There is an exact equation that leads to favor. Favor is not a miracle. Write it down. Favor is a reaction. Favor is not a miracle. Favor is a reaction. You can program favor in your life. A reaction means that it is a response. Favor is a reaction. It's not a miracle. Favor miracles can happen and do happen. But favor is not a miracle. What is favor? Let's define favor. Favor is when someone is willing to invest their life, their time, their resources, their credibility to help you achieve your goals. That's favor. When somebody is willing to participate in your success, it's called favor. When someone is willing to invest their life, invest their credibility, invest their money invest their knowledge into you to help you achieve your goals it's called favor favor is not just unmerited access that's a very limited thinking limited teaching limited definition and is the reason why let me tell you whether it is merited or unmerited favor is access calling it unmerited alone is very limited favor can be merited favor can be merited your obedience and understanding the bible says good understanding secures favor favor can be merited what is favor someone willing to sacrifice their resources to help you succeed All success are related to favor. All success. Whether all kinds of success, financial success, ministry success, business success, marital success, they are directly related to favor. All success testimonies you want to write. All success testimonies are related to favor. I have heard so many success testimonies. There is not one of them that is not related to favor. There is a gap in that testimony. All success testimonies are related to favor. Are you learning something? Write this down. Who likes you matters in your success. Who likes you matters in your success. Brothers and sisters, one man called Ahasuerus hated one, one woman and her entire life crumbled just because one person of influence hated her. Are we together? The same man who hated one woman and destroyed her entire life turned and loved Esther and her life changed overnight from a village girl to a queen. Who likes you matters. Now, many Christians think, it doesn't matter. I don't care who likes me or who doesn't like me. If you are speaking in terms of dependence on God, I understand that context. But in terms of channels to release favor, is a joke. Who likes you matters. There are people listening to me from Joss. We came back from Joss. And um, while I went to minister in Joss, you know, part of the system of honor for me, there was a little girl, lovely lady, and that they gave this thing they put on the neck and flower, you know, just to greet me. And as soon as I got into the hotel, 
there were people lined up and the little girl was standing and then you know would come you know recite i didn't even know what she was saying you know you are welcome to so and so and so and then put that thing and then gave me and i looked at the lady and i fell in love with that dear girl instantly and i told her i said do you know what you are my friend when i came on stage i made sure that they looked for her 10 years old and she stood because i liked her not because i know her i just liked her the next day i said they should bring her to the hotel we would drive together it was together i was gisting with her and i looked at the lady and i said i want to do something for you i want to do something for your family please bring your mother i want to see her now the rest is history but that little girl's life changed in two days simply because somebody liked her do not let anyone lie to you that who likes you does not matter i don't mean who wants to sleep with you who likes you likes you like from heaven likes you to change your life let me tell you the truth listen 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 take what i'm saying very seriously don't just laugh listen who hates you also matters when your boss hates you you will know that it matters because your life will be miserable you may be tongue talking but your boss hates you ah do you know this lady has been serving actively it's time to promote her i, I just hate her please another time and that another time is after three years but there's somebody they can like you as ah, has this person not been in this office for up to two years they say, yes sir. i thought it's three three years I, say, I changed the policy somebody like daniel and could not sleep in the night because some people manipulate a king Stop sleep because he liked Daniel. Early in the morning, he got up by himself. Oh, Daniel, has your God been able to deliver you? Daniel said, I'm alive. He said, bring all those people. Daniel didn't say, please, can you help me punish these people? The king said, me, bring them, throw them, kill all of them. Somebody, because he likes you, can fight your enemies for you. Enemies you don't have capacity to fight. Somebody can like you and put himself inside your situation. What is going on here? Sir, they want to collect our land. Our father is dead. We are only two. Say, no way. I'm a lawyer. Come and meet me in my office. I'm a lawyer. I'm a senior advocate. What did the person say? Because of that, we will charge him to court. He will not only return the land, he will give you part of the money for the foundation. I know what to do. Let's go. And you are seated somewhere and you see people building a house you know nothing about because somebody liked you. Who likes you can change your life write this down one person can open a hundred doors of opportunities for you one person one man one person in your life showing you favor can open a hundred doors of opportunities first samuel 16 verse 22 please give it to us quickly first samuel 16 verse 22 jesus thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you and saul sent to jesse saying let david i pray thee stand before me why for he had found favor in my sight go and tell that boy's father bring me that smelly boy regardless of what it is let me tell you when you find favor before a man regardless of what your limitations are they are ignored to bless you you are responsible for activating the flow of favor in your life now this is coming as a shock to many of us write it down we're getting deeper now you are responsible for activating the flow of favor in your life if one day god will bless me it's a joke you are responsible for activating the flow of favor in your life the bible tells us in first samuel chapter 2 verse 26 that samuel grew in favor with god and with men first samuel chapter 2 verse 26 2 26 and the child Samuel grew on and was in favor both with what the Lord and also with men listen it is one thing to have favor with God it is an entirely different thing to have favor with men I know so many people who 
who have favor with God, but they don't have favor with men. Luke chapter 2 verse 52. Same thing was said about Jesus. Luke chapter 2 and verse 52. And Jesus increased in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and with men. A man can increase in favor with God and favor with men. The number one reason for the hardship in people's lives is lack of favor. Lack of favor. I have seen gifted people who don't have favor. I have seen blessed people in terms of abilities. I have seen gifted architects, no door of favor. Gifted engineers, gifted doctors, gifted students, no favor. I have seen gifted men. Have you seen men who are gifted? They do work for you and you are like, my God. And you are at this level. I know people who know everybody known. Yet there's no favor in their life. You know that? They know Senate president. They know one, the chairman of their local government. The governor's friend is their father's friend. And they, have, they will show you the numbers of people. If I show you, look at, this is Saraki's number. This is Dogara's number. In fact, do you know that when I was staying in Lagos, there was a day that Osimba Joe came to our house. I know him, oh, and there's no favor. They watch everybody on TV. Ah, that's Ambassador ABC. You remember him now, 1971? No favor. No favor. To be gifted is not enough. You need favor. You need men to partner with your life. This ministry by the grace of God is rising not just in terms of finances because of favor. Favor. My life today is, is a humbling testimony of God's favor. Psalms 102 verse 13. Psalms 102 verse 13. Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Joshua Selman. Why? For the time to favor him. Yea, the set time. There is a set time for favor. And everyone prophesy to yourself, say, this is my set time. Say it again, this is my set time. Turn it into a prayer in one minute. Lord, this is my set time. When promise came here, he said, pray. Tired of hardship. Hardship is different from poverty. A hard life. A life unassisted by men. A life unassisted by helpers. is a sign of lack of favor. You can have money and not have favor. When you pay for everything by yourself, you don't have favor. Now is the time, oh God, that you arise. The set time. The set time. Hallelujah. How many of you believe that from this night, favor will begin to follow you? Yes. I don't share my testimonies. Do you know why? Because many people misunderstand my testimonies. When I share testimonies, most people, not you, but maybe most people will think it is, um, it is pride. You are boasting. What does he think he is? If I share with you testimonies of these ministries, what does he think he is? But sometimes it's good to encourage people. Testimonies are ways that let people know God is at work. But because we live in a cynical world, every time you speak, people think you are bragging. Listen, let me tell you, brothers and sisters, God is my witness. And ask everybody who is close to me. I only fund less than 20% of my life ex expenditure. Everything, almost everything in my life is paid for by men everything everything now you can have the money to pay for it by yourself we are not the same you are not assisted are we together most people think having money is all there is to favor no the ability to have men stand up 
and say promise i am determined to make you succeed if you don't believe that thing there's no need for a comment for koinonia this night i looked at certain things in the body of christ and i looked at certain men i looked at certain ministries and i saw tears some testimonies of favor their life revolved as they wanted it was as if there was a charm anyone who saw them bless them one of the greatest people let me tell you i am convinced i received the impartation of favor directly from dr mike modok i knew when it came upon my life you know why he's a man that is greatly criticized in the body of christ because of seed 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 and all of that i may not necessarily believe everything but i saw on common favor on common a favor like a charm and while others were grumbling i said lord this man is an apostle of wisdom he is the gift of god to the body he represents the spiritual system that controls wisdom and the bible says with me wisdom now are riches wealth and honor durable riches and righteousness he said by me kings reign and princes decree justice and i said lord this thing must happen in my life at that time you don't ever see somebody say god said i should do this god said i used to think those things were just stories you know when i think about my life today i almost want to shed tears you know why because i am a product i am if you are ever looking for a man who answers that name ebenezer that a man that god has helped god lifted your hands that's why when i worship god i i i, I do it i live a very happy and a very peaceful life because i found the key to god's favor there is no time in my life when i lack men to rise and assist and defend this ministry you see we are not just fearfully blessed just because of tithes and offerings the ministry of men strange dimensions of favor that i begin to share with you many of you will be afraid how do they get money we are not herbalists favor when you access these laws it will change you overnight are we together i'm wetting your appetite and then i'm going to teach you quickly while i begin to teach them just bring the vessels and then we'll pour the oil because what is coming upon you tonight is the grace for favor i want you to believe it there is such an impartation upon a man for favor father please let your people believe you please please let your people believe you if you don't believe this you will pay for it i promise you There are times for months months i never go to the atm i even forget that i have an atm there is no 24 hours no 24 hours that somebody does not bless me no 24 hours i can give you my phone now and you can check from when i sat down till now a lot upon a lot how they got my account number i don't know brothers and sisters there are properties that have been given to me today i don't know where it is i've not gone there to see it do you believe in favor i shared with you last year about the gold mine 18.7 hectares of a gold mine given for nothing three kings came together and said we must make sure he has it it is not by might it is not by power are we together there are tailors that sew my clothes aside from one i have never aside from another again two really one a cousin to reverend george adeboe of rema he may even be listening now with his wife every time i travel to lagos to a particular church for meeting there he comes with his wife materials upon materials 
us favor. There are bags full of gifts I have not opened since they came. I don't even know what is there. Who told you favor does not work? There are mysterious people who have sent a lot in millions to this ministry. Nobody knows who they are. They didn't even call to say, I am so, 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 and so. What makes you think there is no favor? There is no day I don't wake up in the morning 
with text messages, with recharge cards and bank alerts every day, including today, without fail. This is how I live. Because I found from scripture that he daily loads us with benefits. Sometimes I can be sitting down and see a conga van. You ask the boys that work for me. A conga van, bam, just stops. Somebody has ordered something and paid for it, put my address, and they are offloading these things, and I'm saying, God, what is this? What are you doing to me? And God says, no, you can stop it. You can stop it if you want. I'm waiting your appetite to activate this key. Do you really think you can live a joyful life when you sit down? You really think your salary is what is going to bless you to be established? Who lied to you? There is a realm of favor. Are we together? I've shared with you the testimony of this ministry where a woman, after a program in Lagos, the woman just came, knelt down in front of me and looked at me and said, please, the Lord led her to give us a land and gave us a land in Lekki. It's still there. I've not been there in years to see it. People have called me and said they gave me a land allocated to sell man of god on behalf of our business we put a b c d portion this is for you and i'm saying god what is this they gave us an assignment to develop maybe a 40 50 estates you know houses and all of that a man of god just to let you know that we have three or four units as our own commission and when we are done one of the units is yours and i'm saying what is this you see why I don't share my testimonies? Because it makes people angry. And when it makes people angry, they hate. Most people sit down and say, preachers carry people's money, tithes and offerings. How much? How much? Access. Access. Are we together now? On, on Tuesday, we're going to Kano tomorrow, and on Tuesday, we're going to Nigerian Immigration Services, their headquarters, where the top leaders of Nigerian immigration across the whole nation. I have been with them for how many years now? I think about four, four years. We go there every year. I talk to them, I counsel them. The top of the top leaders. You don't even enter their office, yet for them it's a privilege. Well done, sir. Well done, sir. That's favor. Listen, listen. I'm not teaching you cunningly devised fables. Favor. Favor is not just money. Men are rising to assist you to succeed. After my meeting in Joss, I had a little session for a school of ministry in Joss. And when I was done, a lady walked up and gave me something and said, Please go and give your mother. I said, Hi, this thing is still working. I just met my mother. I said, I met a lady. I don't even know who she is. She said, I should give you. And my mother said, this is what I prayed for. I was telling, I think it was um, a big letter of crayfish. And she said, I should go and give my mother. It is difficult to glorify God when you kill yourself producing the result. There is like Bishop Oyedeko called sweatless triumph. There is such a possibility. If you don't believe it, choose your destiny. But as for me, I have decided that hardship will not age me. I will not sit down and be, I will never come and manipulate you and deceive you. All of you sow to 2,000 naira so that I can have food to eat. Not when there is a God in heaven. How to activate favor? What is the mystery that controls this thing? Favor is not just unmerited access. What is the key? Jesus. The first key to activating favor is sowing the seed of honor. The first key to activating favor in your life is sowing the seed of honor. Write it down. Honor is the first key. Sowing the seed, not receiving a harvest of honor. You must sow the seed for honor. Because honor is the key for access. When you sow seeds of honor, you begin to activate favor. What is honor? 
the ability to recognize the ability to celebrate and the ability to reward men for their uniqueness that's honor not just the ability to appreciate it in your heart the ability to recognize the ability to celebrate and the ability to reward men for their honor the seed of honor i don't mean money a seed called honor you sow honor into a man's life there are many people who will never rise in life because of this honor no favor in their life they don't know the difference between a great man and a weak man everybody is the same to them all men are equal and hey, please I don't do all of this no honor many of you don't know why we sow seeds of honor we transport you after koinonia do you know why it's a seed of honor we are programming honor upon the ministry it's not just that we have a lot of money when our elderly people come we don't let them join the queue except they want to they sit down is a seed of honor when i hug our children here is a seed of honor my life is a walking seed of honor i have mastered sowing seeds of honor the first key to command unending favor honor honor through conversations honor through your body language honor through your vest your gestures you see an elderly woman and i greet her mama how are you that's the seed of honor oh she cannot speak english no problem mama don't put yourself under pressure you don't have to know english find an interpreter seeds of honor are we together now yes i sow seeds of honor everywhere once you discern difference you sow that seed of honor that you are close to an environment of honor does not mean you will have it you must sow seeds of honor to parents the entire hamper that was given to me while I was in Joss they already know I carried it with the wine and everything and I took it home as I got home I just dropped it when my mother heard I was coming to Joss she said what do I want I said I'm not sure I'm, she should not do anything my mother refused and said she must do something she made chin chin and made chicken that's my mother but she has discerned that this is not only my son this is a man of God seeds of honor that's why honor keeps coming honor is not coming because she's my mother she's walking these principles let me tell you whoever walks it will receive it bad manners being rude dishonor you are driving favor from your life you don't treat people well you treat everybody like a piece of rag there are men of God who favor stopped in their life when they rose because they have no regard for anybody they receive honor from others, but they don't give honor. So those lower than them, let me tell you the mystery behind stagnation of favor for many men. They keep receiving honor. Those lower than you keep honoring you, but then you yourself don't give honor. So you remain there and all of them rise and catch up with your level and even go higher than you. Then you start saying, you people are competing with me, Abi. There's no such thing. You refuse to rise because you too are supposed to be rising. They are sowing seeds of honor. If you keep sowing seeds to me in Koinonia, whether money or whether whatever, and I don't do the same thing, you need to see me when I stand before greatness. You will not know it's the same Apostle Joshua Selman you're talking about. If it means me cleaning the shoes, I do it with Jesus' joy. Honor. It's a big secret. Many of us do not know. Honor. Honor. I honor the Holy Spirit with my life. I don't just serve Him. I don't just use Him for anointing. Koinonia honors the Holy Spirit. That's why you see all kinds of signs and wonders. We don't ignore His presence. It doesn't matter what we are teaching. As the worship team whatever happens the holy spirit has unrestrained honor in this ministry that's why we keep seeing signs and wonders that's why we keep seeing him lifting us from place to place every church i have gone to i have honored them honored them not in terms of money necessarily but honor them in terms of treating them well i don't climb anybody's pulpit and violate their doctrinal beliefs regardless of what it is i manage whatever it is they believe and i preach well if their pulpit if it's a church that they are not allowed to jump around and move and stand in one place i stand in one place 
because it is honor and at the end of it they say wow we found a young man who is anointed there are churches i preach you never hear me pray in tongues once it doesn't mean i don't they do not allow that in the open and then i, I subscribe honor are we together i'm showing you success systems these are the mysteries that people have engaged that has changed their lives honor you must sow seeds of honor number two how do i activate favor consistently not today up and tomorrow down two value we've spoken about it you activate favor in your life when you solve people's problems when your life is committed to solving people's problems providing valuable solutions to them it's drizzling outside please coordinate them if some of them can come in let's this is coming or they, they can get into the the um the canopies thank you so much some of them who can come in you can bring them in but most of them can go to the canopies god bless you and thank you hallelujah solving problems we are blessed as a ministry because we solve problems as i'm teaching now i'm adding value to you is that true i'm adding value listen let me tell you something your when you start solving people's problems you should do honor thank you sir there are people i've never seen who call me man of god i just listened to your message essentials for a glorious relationship you just saved our marriage here is a little seed man of god i just listened to your message financial dominion man of god i just listened to your message why revivals die solving problems the moment you solve problems, you show honor. And everywhere there is honor, I teach that there is favor. And everywhere there is favor, there are all kinds of rewards, including finances. So the more valuable you become in solving people's problems, Joseph scheduled a season of favor for himself because he was in the prison and he noticed that the prisoners were not laughing. Dr. Mike Mudo calls wisdom the ability to discern difference. And he saw that their countenance, something was wrong. And he asked them, what is wrong? They were not the ones who came and told him the dream. He said, what is wrong? And he said, ah, okay, you have asked, let me tell you. This is what happened. And he interpreted the dreams and it happened. Value. You must begin to solve people's problems. They will love you. They will honor you. You must cry to God for grace to be a problem solver. You are either creating problems or solving them. You are either creating problems or solving them. If some of these chairs are free, please let's, let's not have people stand. They can occupy the chairs. God bless you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Number three. The third key to commanding favor in your life is integrity. The third key to activating favor in your life is integrity. Integrity. Very, very important. What is integrity? It comes from the word integer. Sameness. Consistency. Let me tell you something. You're a man of God here. Listen to me. Before people begin to bless you and sow into your church or your ministry, they will probe your life. Don't think because you just started ministry, people will bless you. They will probe your life. They will hear testimonies of changed lives and want to watch whether he's like one of them. After a life, a season of integrity and consistency, then they conclude. You know, let me tell you something. Hold on. Many people think that the moment you are anointed, you are charismatic, people will just be loyal to you like that. It's a dream. There are many anointed people who have attention but no loyalty. Do you know why? Because people must vet your life and find out that you are worthy of their loyalty. Nobody will be loyal to you like that. Parents will not just ask their children, oh, I don't have a problem with you loving this man of God. Give people a chance to probe your life and clear their doubts. Then they will honor you. 
are we together when we started out in this ministry most people thought that you know we're just joking most people thought it was all these young people's thing and for 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 years most people thought i was on serious it's just all these young guys doing things on campus it's just these people trying to do something but eventually i never was angry with them because every great man must be probed saying people should not probe you is a joke they check your character with ladies they check your character with money they check your character with discipline they see how you manage challenges they see a lot of it is based on that they will say kai this man is worth my commitment we have seen that god brought two naira to his hand and that two naira did not change him he did not stop preaching the truth just because he's looking for food to eat this is a consistent man this man will be my pastor there are many people roaming around calling everybody son calling everybody daughter what investment have you made in their life you must allow people probe you you start a business and they suspect whether your product there are people when i started out because of the dimension of the anointing in my life many people thought you know you know anytime you see somebody walking in unusual levels of the anointing you may think that maybe some kind of charm or whatever it is and i used to hear people say it and i say leave them even me if i attended koinonia and i watched a man called joshua selman i would think he's holding a charm and then you watch there are many people some of you seated today years ago you would be the last person to be here because you had your differences some of you argued it but with time now you are some of the strongest people do you know there are people in many nations of the world and their assignment is to take koinonia messages there are whole churches that sit down and what they use for either evening service or midweek service is a koinonia message and they just sit down there are youth groups youth fellowships around you know why because they took out time to probe you and when they see integrity the ability to be unbending regardless of the situations there are men of god who start teaching and say don't manipulate money from people but the day they have needs as a ministry they start bending to that standards are we together yes once people see integrity and consistency then they make up their minds to listen to anything you say listen let people probe you until they find a reason to believe you never stop anybody listen if there is anything you are unsure of about my life and this ministry you have a right to sit down and clear your conviction so that you are confident are we together many of you get angry when people suspect you <laughs> how come pastor alpha i've been watching him the way he has been rising in the last three months this guy may have taught something Abba, am i not innocent let people probe you so that when they believe you they will be the greatest defense i know you there are people to do it they are the ones who are defending this ministry ah no i used to know this brother there was a day he gave me 50 naira he started his giving sins do you know the people who accuse you today will be the ones to defend you tomorrow give them a chance to have a testimony by themselves there are people who think the miracles that we announce here are manipulated or faked simply because they've heard that maybe some churches do a lot of things and they come here and then the person who falls under the anointing is seated close to them they watch it with their own eyes and then eventually their own sicknesses leave and they go back and say wow i have seen for myself integrity the third key to activating favor consistency integrity unbending unbending consistently producing results when we started the school of ministry this is the fifth set now when we started the school of ministry most people thought it was a joke let me tell you something look up please as a man of god let me give you a great advice the moment you are doing too many things and you cannot continue in them men will stop believing you you just get up today and says we have 14 days of fire vigil and then after 12 days a kite we found out that things are happening we're not doing this again there are too many inconsistent people we are going to start koinonia business school and after two weeks nobody comes then you close it when people probe you and they see that you are too erratic you know what it means to be erratic you just come up with programs there's no consistency nobody will submit to such an authority people want to see consistency 
they want to know that this is who you are they want to know that you can be predictable you never hear anybody come and give testimony here i don't care whether you're a millionaire or whatever i have never gone to the house of anybody in the name of going there to find out and say okay we are some of our top uh, offering givers and tight payers in koinonia i love you so much and uh, i just wanted you to know that we have the following needs no if i've ever come to your house to tell you we have the following needs stand up hallelujah how many men of god have destroyed integrity from their lives they go around harassing church members and look at people and say uh, we don't know if God is speaking to you there's a drum set the thing has turned honestly it's embarrassing and you inconvenience people everywhere integrity please bring bring the, the continuous now number four the third the fourth key to activating favor is quality relationships quality relationships favor is relationship dependent that's why I taught you those other laws quality relationship who you know matters it gives you access men can be wings to you men can become wings to you there are people we know today that can speak for us there are people I know today that can speak for me are we together they can make ex exemptions for you you sow seeds of favor seeds of favor and it changes your life forever relationships number five the third key to activating favor is praying favor provoking prayers there are favor provoking prayers the bible says for everyone that asketh receiveth everyone that asketh lord open my heavens cause men to bless me put an anointing upon my life that makes men bless me favor provoking prayers you can pray your way among other things into favor favor provoking prayers many of us don't pray i pray it seriously lord this ministry is a well watered garden people are coming givers are coming my life is a good soil People are sowing into my life as they sow into my life they receive a hundredfold harvest when you sow into a man's life and you receive a harvest nobody will tell you to do it again you will continue doing it again and again and again they sow into your life and nothing happens these are the seeds that you sow and then number six the sixth way of provoking or activating favor in your life is by an impartation from the careers of that anointing an impartation of the grace for favor an impartation of the grace for favor from the careers of the anointing this oil is not what anoints you this oil is simply oil when the oil is anointed then it becomes a medium to bless you the oil in itself has to be anointed this is not anointing oil this is oil after the prayers on it it becomes an anointing oil and it can bless you can favor be transferred can that grace the mantle the grace for favor be transferred absolutely there are people in this ministry that are carrying it bodily there are people who have begun to see it in their lives like day and night people call me all the time and say my god apostle this thing works like charm and tonight it will come upon your life what does favor give you in life speed speed what are the benefits of activating favor speed speed something that would take men 10 years can be achieved in three months under an atmosphere of favor what are the benefits of favor number two ease ease the mystery of ease 
people like Bishop Oyedeko would call it sweatless triumph. Ease. Where the limes just fall for you in pleasant places and you have a good heritage. Battles that stand before you while you are preparing to fight them. You open the door and find dead bodies. Favor fought your battles. Favor has fought my battles in life. I have seen for the things you have done and the battles you have won only you are worthy of my faith we magnify your name koinonia look at this we are in zaria in the north this whole road this is a major road but this whole road is blocked every friday every Friday. Go and try to block a road somewhere in the name of service and see what happens to you. Everything works for our favor in this ministry. Everything. Regardless of what it is. You try to fight this ministry, you will watch by yourself activating favor and making it happen. You don't fight a man of favor and win. It's a waste of time. It's like boxing in war. Where a man that carries the mantle of favor is untouchable, literally untouchable. Because God will raise help left, right, and center. Left, right, and center. Left, right, and center. Many of our parents have no favor. No doors opening for them. Nothing happening. Favor. Koinonia today is a place of favor. 70% of the people who are blessed by this ministry have never seen me. How do you follow a man when the videos are not even uploaded on YouTube? They don't know the picture. The first and only time certain people have seen me is dreams. Yet you listen to the message, it forces you to look for someone and give him. Whether you like it or not. That's not normal. There are people following scattered across different nations this night. Favor has brought me honor. Favor has brought me glory. I have stood before politicians. I have stood before kings. I have stood before billionaires. I have drank of their minds and their wisdom for free. Men have given me access, uncommon access, uncommon doors. It still happens all the time and it will not fail. There are people who send me text messages every time. Apostle, is there anything we can do for you? We want to do for you. I don't know how many people in this ministry send text messages every time. We want to wash your car. We want to do something. Somebody came early in the morning. I was sleeping and I had, it, it was like there was water splashing on my car. And I checked and I saw somebody washing my car by force. I know if I ask you, you won't agree. I said, what is this one? Honestly, they even disturb it. Just washing the car with joy. I said, now, if I drive this person, favor, favor, it is real and it happens. We have sown seeds of favor. We meet the security people. We honor them. We bless them. The, the Nigerian Union of Road Transport Workers, they come here. Some, I'm sure many of them are outside here with the buses and they are waiting. 99% of them are not necessarily Christians, but they love Koinonia and they will come and wait and watch the service and watch everything happening. No complaint. You know why? Because seeds of honor have been sown. Seeds of honor has been sown. There are so many people. We have scattered seeds of honor around. Look at CGC and the honor that they have shown this ministry. I have never seen a ministry with men of God as humble and members that love Jesus and truthfully like the members in this church. It is true. It is true. It is from my heart and it is true. Hallelujah. Some of the pastors are my fathers and literally those men can see me and just greet like this. And I'm wise enough to know that whilst they are sowing seeds of honor, I must sow seeds of honor. 
every time people sow seeds of honor, sow it back. Don't receive and wait. You receive, they have risen, but you have remained where you are. They will be calling you a superstar, but it will be for a short time until they catch up with you. Somebody blesses you. Ah, um, Pastor Alpha, bless you. You reciprocate back. That way, both of you have risen. We sow into the lives of mission agencies because we honor what they represent. That's why souls continue to be saved here. David Ibiu may the Lord ask him to go and meet Billy Graham before he dies. And David Ibiu may travel to America, carried a very huge seed, sowed into the life of Billy Graham. And Billy Graham said a word of prayer for him. He said he came back and preached a very simple message. And about one third of the church came out for altar call. He carried something. Whenever you see consistency, there is something. Tonight, you're about to receive an impartation. This may be one of the most important days in your life. Some of you have never had a man of God impart anything upon you. You have gone for anointing services. Some of you have all kinds of oils in your house. Oil does not anoint. The oil is anointed to anoint. My prayer is that there will be a replication of results. This is my prayer. And I, don't, I know that not everybody will believe it. But brothers and sisters, if you believe this, God has given me honor. God has given me honor. Honor beyond my level in life. Everything connected to me has flourished. God has blessed me. He has done all kinds of things. While you are seated, everyone, I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, this is the moment. I'm ready to succeed. I am tired of failing. I am tired of hardship. Pray. You have taken all my shame. You've taken all my tears. You've taken all my cries. You've taken all disappointments. You've taken all my pain. You've taken all my shame. And you have made them yours. My heart is to the King. Lord, you have taken all my sorrow.
Be careful, put it. There is a heavy anointing on these oils. Heavy unction of the spirit. Heavy anointing. I want to pray. Now, this is how we're going to do it. Listen, there are, there's, this is the main ball. There's overflow one. There's overflow two. The road. There's ever overflow three. Now, the way we're going to do it, I'm going to, I'm going to lay my hands as I speak now. There will be people standing. Please, it takes a lot of time. We will be fast. Many of you will not be able to stand. I don't know how we'll manage this. The moment this oil touches your head and you receive it, begin to prophesy. Command things to hear your voice and command them to produce for you. Don't just have the oil and sit down and you are watching. Are we together? And then we are going to round up. Father, in the name of Jesus, you have anointed me, you have shown me favor. You have granted me access to mysteries. And Lord, I decree and declare, this oil is about coming upon the life of your people. In the name of Jesus, Lord, everyone, please help me with the mic. Every single person who partakes of this impartation, Lord, may everything around them turn around. May everything around them turn around. Miracle jobs by this favor. Turn around miracles by this favor. In the name of Jesus, let hopeless situations change. Let hopeless situations change. Let the barren receive twins, triplets. Lord, in one month, may men become millionaires. I say it again. In one month, may people who don't have anything in their pocket now, let it be a testimony that will shock everyone. May businesses arise from nowhere. Let there be people here that will start paying the school fees of several children because of how blessed they will be. I decree and declare, while this is an oil of favor, I call it the oil of judgment. As this oil comes on your head, I declare that because of what is on your head, someone must be laid to rest to let you go. Listen, uncompleted projects, whether academics, whether whatever, as this oil comes, the grace for completion comes with it. Hear me? Anyone here struggling financially, except it is not the hand of God that is upon my life, I decree and declare that as this oil comes upon you, in ways that even you, you cannot explain, God will change your stories and wipe your tears. I provoke the grace, the anointing. Let everyone who makes contact with this oil, some of you, as soon as it touches you, you will see your phones ringing, miracles, text messages. In the name of Jesus, whatever you have been looking for that did not come, let it come right now. In Jesus' name. If there is anybody who is in any kind of trouble now, trouble that only God can help you, I speak to you. By this favor that has come upon you, I turn things around. In the name of Jesus Christ. I turn things around in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we give you all the praise. We will never be the same. In the name of Jesus. Keep standing everyone. Please keep standing very quickly. This is past 10. We're very late. Our time is up. But I know that you will agree with me that it was worth it. Please keep standing. I want to give just a minute for people to rededicate their lives to Jesus. I know we have received this impartation. Our time is gone. But if you are coming out, please, I want you to make it fast. There are people here tonight 
who are saying, Lord Jesus, I want to, I make up my mind to walk with you. And others saying, Lord Jesus, I handed my life to you, but something happened here and there. And now I cannot say I'm standing in you. There are some of them inside here looking at me, many outside. Some of you are coming for the first time. Wherever you are, I want to give you an opportunity now. Please make your way to the front. God bless you, sir. Thank you. Clap for them as they come. God bless you. God bless you, madam. Bless you. You are on a crutch. God bless you. I'm going to pray for you. God bless you. Let them come quickly. Clear the way for them. They are running. They are coming. Run to Jesus. God bless you. God bless you. Koinonia, are you clapping for them? Encourage them. Please don't sit back. I want to run to Jesus. Hallelujah. If you are joining them, join them fast. Our time is gone. Our time is gone. Join them fast. Lift your right hand. I want to pray with you. That's all right, everyone. Say after me in the name of Jesus. I declare that tonight, Jesus is my Lord. Say after me, Jesus, I believe in you. I hand over my life to you. I declare that the greatness you have destined for me, I must leave it. I ask that my sins be forgiven. I ask that you give me a new beginning. I am your child from today. I receive your life forward ever and backward never. Keep your hands lifted. Father, I present to you these that Jesus died for. They have made a decision to love you, to serve you. I pray that you seal this decision with the presence of the Holy Spirit. I declare that your sins are forgiven. The Lord gives you a new beginning from tonight. You will never be the same in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. God bless you. Please make sure someone prays with that lady. She came when the prayer was on. Pastor Femi, you can just pray with her. Now, please follow. There's a lady waving her hands. There's another gentleman waving their hands. Quickly go to them. They will direct you. Have your details and congratulate you on, your, on our behalf. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.